Whatever he is. My character. Endless mode coming soon, huh? If it's anything like Super Metroid Arcade, I'm out. <laughs> because I'll just fail miserably. Yet he has had but a century to make his changes. I have had an eternity in the arms of death. The symbol of victory over oppression, control and will. Properties I understand well, and you will learn. Okay, so last time we did some stuff and uh, that's it. We're gonna cure Mel Melclipses. Melclipses? We're gonna cure him and we're gonna go to Goblin Town and um, what else can we do here? Basically, anything with a token would be nice. Here's the fucking deadly forest again. The market thief. The cartographer. These are all ones that I just still haven't accessed yet. Friendly innkeeper. You have to spend gold. Um, what's this? Equipment, precision, lose life, oh, the fallen treasure thing. Um, do that one. Man of the world. Oh, this just reveals map. Let's do the elder's gift. And, um, what other new ones? Fine. Good. Okay. There's a lot of equipment available here for this. Um, I want to do some of the newer ones. Dark Thirst. Blinding Brew. Next time, I'm just going to let the game choose for me. The filters make... Oh, okay. I see what you mean by filters. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's a lot of fucking equipment. Uh, we'll get food and we'll get, um... We'll start with a weapon. We'll start with the brigands' blades, sure. Brigands. All right, chat. I think you're. This I think you're still enabled. So get ready to vote. It even touches me. My power keeps it at bay. But these are the seals that Callus has attempted and failed to place upon my return. This is gonna be a fun name to pronounce. Sir Malafowl looks down from the back of his steed at the soldiers lined rank and file before him. The city is lost to plague, he says dryly. We will not waste another soldier on this place. Jesus Christ, is that the voice of the dude from Hot Fuzz? Anyway, he gives the final command. In the name of the Emperor, prepare to withdraw. <laughs> Block the gatehouses. Let no one through. At sunrise, burn the city to the ground. It's a little Ringo-ish. Without hesitation, the soldiers march down the cobbled street toward the western gatehouse. A single soldier remains, a captain. She removes her helm to reveal a quiff of golden hair and an eye patch concealing a wound from a battle long ago. She approaches you and Malaclips. Many innocent people will die come morning if nothing is done to correct this injustice, she explains. I ask that you aid my men in their search for the citizens to escort out of the old city. Hurry, nightfall fast approaches. So we just have to find and rescue civilians. Citizens in particular. What's the difference between a civilian and a citizen? Watch Starship Troopers and you'll find out. The people will not find safe passage to the west. The, ga the gatehouse 
to the southeast, however, was abandoned when the infected broke through. If we can clear enough corruption from this district, we can escort any citizens through with minimal resistance. My coachman will follow and transport any citizens you might find along the way. If you are lucky, they may be of assistance in your travels. Search the streets and kill the infected. I will send word when the way is cleared. Okay. Everywhere the rot touches, and everywhere bears its stains. He dashed through the labyrinth of slum streets in the city center. Would that qualify it as the scum zone? Remember to vote only once on your option, chat. So whatever you want to vote for, just one time. Okay. Now we see how this tale ends. Oh. Malaclipse's condition worsens on your journey back to the underneath. He must stop often for rest. His usual chatty loot playing is replaced by a somber silence. Finally, you arrive at the familiar stone entrance by the lake, but the doorway is wide open, and the bespeckled ogre is lying in a pool of his own blue blood. The ogre wheezes. You get away! Bye, mate. Cut by you. Done. A robed woman draped in bone charms round the corner. Uh, rounds the corner. A necromancer. You must be Malaclips, and you, his mercenary companion. I was warned about you. She bows mockingly. Have you come to stop me from ending the lives of the little rats who scurry in the sinkhole? Who are you? She laughs, a chilling hollow sound. By many accounts, I am nobody. Merely a killer for hire. She bows mockingly. Have you come to stop me from ending the lives of the little rats who scurry in this sinkhole? Have you come to stop me from ending the lives of the little rats who scurry in this sinkhole? Why, the Empire, of course. <laughs> the necromancer steps closer, fiddling with her bone amulets. You really think you could waltz into an Empire fort and steal those precious mage children away without them noticing? There's an enticingly high price on your heads, and a high price on mage heads in general. Once I've taken yours, I'll descend into the underneath and collect every last one. She bows mockingly. Have you come to stop me from ending the lives of the little rats who scurry in this sinkhole? Can you not feel the winds of time changing, Malaclipse of the Veil? The seers whisper of it. I've no intention of being on the wrong side of history, do you? That sounds like a song. Malaclipse grimaces. You are on the right, wrong side of history, sister. The necromancer smiles. History is penned by the victors, hedge mage. Now, she readies her staff, the emperor did not gift me lizard man bone dust. To waste my time up here while I could be down there spilling mage blood. Lizard man bone dust, huh? Sounds like a King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard song title. The necromancer raises her arms and the undead crawl out of the earth to surround you. This soon? I have shitty weaponry.
The Death Mage reveal revels in this land, tipping ever more into chaos. Use Bash to break through their gruesome armor. Too many boners for me to handle right now. Ah. Uh, this is definitely not the best way to get back into this game after however long it's been. Like, get away from the boner fire in time. There it is. Okay. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Remember, this is the end of the Malaclip story. This isn't necessarily related to this mission, to this card. Holy shit. Kiwa. Suddenly, Ma Malaclips doubles over in pain, clutching his arm. Ira, the cure! You carry Malaclips through the stone entrance into the underneath. He coughs blood into his collar. A few steps into the tunnel, and you meet Ira. She takes one glance at Malaclips' face and immediately understands. Malaclips is as pale as a sheet, and his eyes are bloodshot. Ira, please, the potion. She weeps. Oh, Mal, I have lied to you. Malaclips stares in horror, blood leaking from his mouth. What... what are you saying? She raises a hand and cups his face with the tenderness of a lover. The only cure is removal. The whole limb is infected, Mal. It has to go. Malaclips begins to sweat through his surcoat. He tears at the bindings of his sleeve to reveal the affliction spreading up his arm. Glowing green pustules and crust his hand and wrist. The extent of his affliction is now gruesomely apparent. He gives a strangled sigh and promptly passes out. Ira unsheathes a curved silver dagger from her belt and hands it to you. We don't have much time. I must, I must fetch a blood-binding potion, or he will simply bleed to death. Do not falter. If the corruption spreads to his neck, then he is lost. Then Ira hurries down into the underneath. You must remove the infected limb for him. <laughs> the corruption is creeping quickly past his elbow. Patience, and do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. Oh no. <laughs> Nicely timed. The surgical dagger is impossibly sharp. It cuts cleanly through Malaclips' arm, through tendon, muscle, and bone. Still, your friend does not move. You feel sick to your stomach as you desperately try to staunch the bleeding. At last, Ira arrives, potion in hand. Some days later, Malaclips comes too. He stares at the empty healing vials and jars of curative salves that surround his sick bed and rasps for the a flangin of wine. Flagon. Of wine, Cthulhu Flagon. When he is well enough, through 
sorceries and oh, sorry. Yeah, when he's well enough through sorceries and blood magics, you don't quite understand. Malaclips is gifted with a new arm. It glows bright green and is smooth and transparent like glass. Malaclips flexes his new limb with a sad look on his face. Thank the gods the Empire isn't hunting mages right now, or this would be quite the beacon indeed. After a few more days fully supplied with wine and the disgusting cave berry cakes, ubiquitous in the underneath, you both trudge up the tunnel to the surface. Malaclips is silent as you walk. What about your arm? Malaclips flexes his new glowing arm. It feels stiff and tingles painfully. What about the corruption? He grimaces. I made a terrible mistake. It was a plan concocted by a few desperate ones to stop the Empire from culling us. But it backfired horribly. Those who didn't die were infected, and he stops himself from telling you something and pats you on the back instead. When you're older, I'll tell you the rest of the story. About the Empire. If it is true that the Emperor himself is consorting with mages to cull mages, then that is a rather flawed, terrifying plan. It may all be Codswallop, though. Necromancers are known to harbor big heads, unlike the smaller, more humble heads of regular mages like me. What are you going to do now? <laughs> I could have died. It's a funny thing to think about. Malaclips runs his new hand across the surface of a powerful spellbook, parting gift from Ira. I suppose, since it will be difficult to hide this beacon attached to my body, I'll have to abandon the bard disguise. A thought suddenly crosses his mind. I except in taverns. Have you ever seen a mage successfully woo a pretty bar maiden? I haven't. Nicely done. I have three food, and I'm almost dead. Do not take too long. The city falls around you. Um. Um. I'm good. It is not too late to plan better. Signs of mass departure are everywhere. Homes stand empty and all that remain are crumbling ruins. Surgery must be done with precision if it is to be effective. You know, we don't always have to fight everything we see, Malaclips whispers. You draw your weapon and prepare to take the group by surprise. my first failure even when things appear impossible they can be mastered keep practicing you land several blows but fail to fell any infected you deflect their retaliatory strikes the rest of the infected turn at your commotion at the commotion and clamor towards you arms thrashing malaclips readies his spell book could have run like cowards from the beginning but no together you face the charging monsters second oh i failed this one before Your weapon finds its mark. You whirl through their, your foes, leaving, cleaving the infected before they could land a blow. Two monster cards are gone. Despite your best efforts, the remaining infected close in. Spang! Spang! Is Malaclips like a fucking beast now? Because he's got like a crazy arm. He's still the magical bardy type. 
with a fucking flying V loot. So no, I don't, I guess... I guess he hasn't changed a whole lot. He changes after Vinny unlocks the card. Oh, okay. So I, I have some time to go before he gets powered up. Oh, nice. Oh, get fucked. Spang. <laughs> oh, it's the forest. Do I want to do that just yet? Here's a token for you, if you can earn it. Um... Um, Jesus. I, well, I don't know if I can make camp. I don't have any food. Shadowy beasts descend from the trees and tear at your flesh. Good card. Fearing for your life, you flee the forest. I don't understand that card. Like, for one, fuck that card very much. Needed that food. Thanks, chat. Okay, now I can camp a little bit. Eat a couple foods. In order to get the token, you have to wait outside. Oh, well that makes sense. I guess I didn't... I didn't remember that I tried what I did. Whatever. Tall buildings line the streets and lower... They, their lower windows boarded up with planks of wood on Imperial Order, a futile attempt to hinder the spread of the plague. Maybe you should look to regain our strength at the wagon, Malaclip says, as you make your way through the winding road. The peasants may have food to trade. We haven't found any peasants. While crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous band. Um... You could stand and fight the fiends, or throw yourself to the mercy of the river. Light weapon, weapons are weakest against empire armor. Weapons. I'm gonna be okay. My weapon is very strong. Kind of back in the New York groove here. Okay, I got some equipment. Blinding brew. It stuns an area. Food, nice. Very much needed that. Haven't rescued a single citizen. You dash through the labyrinth of slum streets in the city center. Here we go. Let's ambush the corrupted. Uh, here we go again with this thing. Prop Take my time here. Sp spang. All right. 
<laughs> hmm. What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. Yep, thanks. Up until today, I was pretty good at that. You better be on your fucking game right now, son. Thank God. I wasted two of my concussions, but I think I, I think I needed them. I really think I needed them there. The stench of corruption flows across the cities, tainting everything it touches. We bring word from Captain Fuel. The soldier explains with a salute, the infected hold at the next gatehouse have subsided. The dealer removes the corruption counter from the map. But there is a problem. Corruption grows from the ground itself, blocking all passage for the wagons. It must be destroyed. She asks that we join you in your efforts. The soldier continues, should you require our assistance, you need only ask. Prior to combat, optionally draw an Empire Ally card. Okay. We passed 25 thieves. Well, there ain't no thieves around here. Arnold Star. Yeah. I'd say that's- I'd say that's what that was. Signs of a mass departure are everywhere. Homes stand empty. All that remain are crumbling ruins. What are you sacrificing when you stop to help them? Have you asked yourself that? You happen upon a group of frightened peasants desperately seeking safety. We hear the Empire has abandoned the city! They cry. Please help us! You explain Captain Fiore's plan and help them on to the wagons. We are grateful, a woman says as she steps into the carriage. I haven't much food, but should you need some, I'd be willing to trade. Yes. Raiders have destroyed our village, the elder explains in a hushed voice. Yes! They were searching for this. He draws a weapon from the cloak and hands it to you. Yes. We've done this a couple times, but... Now I got the fucking thing. There's no token on this, is there? This is a really, really nice weapon. Oh. Health potion, you say. Thank you, chat. Tall buildings line the streets, yada yada. Some still fight. Yet, they must know their time is near. 
The unmistakable sound of combat alerts you to a group of townsfolk being attacked by the infected. One brave warrior struggles to hold back the horde. You rush to their aid. Um... I don't think we need to call for assistance this time. If we call for assistance now, when we have a bunch of, like, townsfolk, that might be a waste. But when I really need some reinforcements, it's gonna be good. Come first. Oh, 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 that was a lot of damage. I couldn't get out of there in time. I could not do it. You've got to come to Aid so that we can sing a hard day's night. You arrived just in time, the warrior explains. I don't think I could have held him off much longer. I could part with some equipment, he continues. I don't think it will do me much good now. See me if you're interested in a trade. Let's see. Buy equipment. Um, billy clubs? No, I'm good on those. What about food? Could use the food. Bit of coin for a bit of food. Really cheap food. Try to do all the city streets, rescue as many citizens as we can. Pauper District has been hit by looters leaving shops with broken windows and empty shelves. Here we go. Eight more citizens. A little bit of food is available and gatehouse. And there's the food that you guys voted for. With more yet to be saved. The smell of rotting flesh lingers in the air. The gatehouse tower looms over you, its sides encrusted with the taint of corruption. You can't say encrusted and taint in the same sentence and not expect me to laugh a little bit. The captain greets you as your... as your approach. <laughs> okay. It is as the scouts reported, Malaclipse says, that corruption will block the path for the wagons. Now, make haste to protect the wagons with my scouts. You two clear the way. You draw your weapon and prepare, prepare to face the infected. I swear I can read tonight. Yes. Let's get some scouts. Prepare. Corruption. The land itself becomes shattered, shambling, and broken. Attacks with bursts of corruption that snare and damage their targets. Use evade to avoid the attacks or change direction rapidly to break free. Get 
in here. Damn it. No bueno. Some deaths. Scouts are dead. Gotcha. Captain Fuhrer addresses you. You have a steady swing, excellent soldier. It will only be more difficult from here on in, uh, from here on. You usually say out after on, but not this time. From here on. I bear no ill will towards you if you choose to leave now. Continue. As the captain's scouts lead the wagons through the next, to the next district and seal the gates, you ascend the gatehouse tower. What is it the towers will watch over? A stream of death and despair? The tower provides a commanding view over the once impressive city. As you pause to catch your breath, you watch the last of the sun's rays disappear over the horizon. Malaclip shakes your shoulder and points over the battlements to the south. There you see the final gatehouse, its towering, its tower rising from the wall of the old city to the south. I only have 21 of the 60 citizens. Have you ever seen so many? Malaclips remarks as you watch the infected swarm the city wall. How can the empire let its people suffer so? Malaclips mutters under their breath and abandon those in need. As you continue to look, a small glow appears in the horizon beyond the city perimeter. First one, then another, and another. The Empire, Alcos cries. They are preparing to burn the city. We must get the people to safety. Let us hope we are not too late. The dealer's hat changed. Are the devs here again? Devs, you get a fedora? What are you doing up at 1 a.m., developers, please? The river's water, now a putrid green, emanates with a miasma that turns your stomach. It's 4 p.m. here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. That's good. I beat it. Breathe. You have done well. Two monster cards removed. The remaining infected stand by idly, twitching and writhing in sickness. Malaclips pats you on the back. Good job. I am proud of you. I guess I should join in on this fight. Together you dash towards them. Spang. Spang. Oh my god, his arm. The dealer's arm is, is severely infected. I hope he didn't touch any of the cards that I touched. Shit. Your weapon is met with a thick crust of blackened plague rot that repels the strike. Despite your best efforts, the infected surround you. There's a lot of, um, a lot of the word crust and encrusted and, you know what I mean? Been seeing that a lot tonight. This is my kind of game. I hope this works.
kind of dropped the ball on that one a little bit. There's a little beef, little little beef chow mein in that one. Devs, what's your favorite color? Or Dev? I don't know your name, so your name is now just Dev. Favorite color? Dead bodies litter the streets while rats scurry in search of a feast. They believe fire will purge this sickness. But the sickness is not in the city. It is in the land itself. It will be purged, but not like this. Your name wouldn't happen to be Devon, right, Dev? Uh, with a terrible crash, the building beside purple's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> So what you thinking about? Um, with a terrible crash, the building beside you is struck by a flaming catapult shot. The building heaves and twists from the impact and crumbles across the street in front of you. The dealer has those glasses again. Holy shit. <laughs> Why have you given yourself such power? Malaclips shields their eyes from the blaze. Quickly, we must find another way. You turn the wagons around and search for another road through the district. When did the, when did the dealer become Aurora Borealis? Dead bodies litter the streets while rats scurry in search of a feast. With every step, corruption reaches further, and your chances become less. You spy a group of poor urchins loitering in an alley. They look hungry. As you approach, they scramble into a pile of discarded crates. I'm here to help. How do we know you're not one of them? One cries. How do we know you're not sick like those monsters? Says another. They remain huddled behind the crates. Try to catch them. You and Malaclips work to herd the children together. Oh man, this one's popping up like crazy tonight. The Pendulum of Doom. Got it. You successfully grab all the children before they make their escape. We fought you in monsters, says one as she boards a wagon. The river's water, now putrid green, emanates with a miasma that turns your stomach. Food. Putrefication has ravaged this part of the city. Narrow alleyways, which never see the light of day, harbor nothing but misery and pestilence. If there is so a Dev finer mind than my own, I've yet to meet it. Yet, I've brought a scourge of mindlessness into this world, and must suffer the results. Dev, can I call you Dev? Uh, where are you from that you're currently in 4 p.m.? A wounded peasant runs stumbling down the street chased by a horde of corrupted he falls at your feet Brisbane okay fucking stry you mate fucking stry you mate he falls at your feet and begins to twitch the blood from his wounds boils and blackens it's a fight It's pronounced Brisbane? Oh, shit. Oh, I guess I'm a cheeky cunt. The rot grants power before it grants release. Muscle replaced with darkness, organs pumping black bile through shattered veins. 
Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. Use a finisher before they recover. So many of them, oh my god! I can do this before all my volunteers die. And that's the last volunteer, and he's dead. Never mind. Vinny, I swear to crust, I hate when you use that super slam because it makes a chiming that sounds just like my phone ring. Super slam? Did you say super slam? The rock sock em, cock sucking super slam. Wrestling event of the summer with John Cena. With the horde defeated, the townsfolk rushed to tend to the peasants. They are grateful for your protection. I'm not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this I may as well just close my eyes. My focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Failure and Malaclips oh, can't dear. fight with me. <laughs> Move faster next time. While catching your breath at a crossroad, the sky above you tears open, forming a glittering portal to another realm. A man hurtles through the rent in space, cursing and screaming as he crashes into the ground. He brushes the dust from his hair and straightens his shirt. You get the feeling he has not slept well in weeks. Greetings, mighty warrior. Hang on a minute. Greetings, mighty warrior. From the other side, I've been forcibly sent here to assist you. Things weren't going great. He draws a gift from a large brown sack and hands it to you. I stole this from some weird goblin. It's bottomless, you know. With a wink, he begins to fade into the ether. All right, I'm out of here. Go get him, killer. Thanks, Steph. The spread of plague has rendered the district a blackened maze. The crust of contagion warps cobblestones. <laughs> cobblestones and weakens foundations, making progress perilous. Oh my god. That's a lot of them. The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. The developer is very glorious indeed. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. Am I pronouncing Malaclips correct? Well, it's silver. Will it's not the best. Good stead from here. Dealer removes one monster card. Okay, we have another one. Oh, no. Poorly done. Oh, you damn. must harness your will and find the quiet stillness. Inside okay. you. Thank you, Dev. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay.
Yeah, but you gotta predict this bang. You gotta lead your shots, chat. Malaclipse's shield now. Chat is too nice to Vinny. We need more bad rolls. But here's the thing. Failure in this game isn't nearly as funny as in Cluster Truck. It just sucks for all of us. In Cluster Truck, it's easy. Because you can just restart the level real quick. Cluster truck. Dev is now a subscriber. Oh no shit! What's what is the developer's name in chat? Thank you so much. They say the road to Goblin Town is paved with gold and dead mice. Horus, son of the village idiot, has lured you to this forest cave with the promise of hidden treasure. You regret everything. It's Defiant Devly. Okay. Thanks, Defiant. Seriously, dude. I really like your game, and uh, the chat enjoys it too. So it's just nice to have a developer show up and hang out for a little bit, and then get a Vine Sauce Toilet account. I want you to know what the Vine Sauce Toilet account benefits are. Which is that I, I have, you can use a toilet in my home anytime you're in the area and I gain full rights to give you an upper decker in your home toilet. And I don't remember the, the rest of the stipulations that I had here. Just through here. He points into a dark cavern. I saw a goblin hurrying into that hole not a moment ago. Goblin Town is in there, I'm the sure of it. The artifact is empty now, and will be of little use to you here. Okay, I've never seen this in this game. This is a first. This is pretty cool. Still adding new things this far in. That walk animation, though. <laughs> kind of looks constipated. Or he's just sneakering in. Sneaky. Yeah, he's a Belmont. Clearly, this dude is, is Simon Belmont's half-niece. The 
Ho uh, Horus is crestfallen when you tell him that the goblin town wasn't down there. Well, you didn't find a goblin either. Probably used their wily magics. I'll tell you what, if you manage to get your hands on a goblin, they might lead you here. There. That character's voice changed every time I did it. Smoke fills the city and stings your eyes. The Empire intends to staunch the infection with fire. You pick up the pace. With a crack, another flaming shot strikes a building, collapsing it in a blaze of fire and debris. Malaclip shields their eyes from the blaze. Quickly, we must find another way. You turn the wagons around and search for another road through the district. The spread of plague has rendered the district a blackened maze. The crust of contagion warps cobblestones and weakens foundations, making progress perilous. of terrors. There will always be traders who stayed too long hoping to profit. You find a merchant and his family. You explain Captain Fuhrer's plan and help the merchant and his family onto the wagons. Thank you, the merchant says, boarding the wagon. Should you find yourself short of gold, I'd be happy to give you a good price for any equipment you might want to trade. Putrefication has ravaged this part of the city, too. Okay, here we go again. Couldn't get that spang. Oh. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. Very close. Come on, you gotta do this a little faster. Also, these scouts came in really handy. Disposal. I was gonna say a disposable army at my disposal. That would have been worse though. We bring word from Captain Estrella, the soldier explains with a salute. The infected horde at the gatehouse has subsided. 
As it is before, the gate is blocked by more layers of corruption. The wagons cannot get through. It must be destroyed. You thank the scouts and assure them that you'll head to the gatehouse in due course. Dead bodies litter the streets while rats scurry in search of feast. Um, we'll come back to this. As soon as I have the rest of the map. hero thing. I'm not going to call on my scouts this time. Goodbye, Lemon. I like how this little militia has guns. Like, that's just perfect. I wish my scouts had guns. Looks like it fucking hurts. It actually it wouldn't. If someone caved your skull in from behind with a giant hammer, I would imagine the second, like, when it makes contact with the ground, even probably before that, just the 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 nerves. Yeah, no, I don't think that would hurt. Never mind. <laughs> you arrived just in time, the worry explains. I don't think I could have held them off much longer. All forms of violence dwell here. You feel the crunch of bones beneath your feet as you recognize the stench of an ogre's lair. Boil thou first in a special pot, or pluck the flesh from bone as it still breathes. An ogre lurches menacingly from the darkness, a hideous grin splitting its face. The smell warms my stomach with mirth, dear little mouse. Is this a dev card? Is the developer made, making me fight an ogre? God damn it, dude. All right, welcome to my swamp. I am an ogre, and I have layers. Never cheat an ogre on a straight deal, Daros the one-armed. The ogre's thick hide reduces damage by four, making low damage weapons less effective. Beware, club deal, uh, club deals devastating damage, evade or perish. How did you know
I think the ogre is broken. Ogre has the block icon above its head permanently now. But it's all good. It's done. The bloody remains strewn about the ogre's lair may have something of value. Some food. Searching the corpse of a long disemboweled northerner yields a useful item. What food inside of a disemboweled northerner? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want that. No, I don't want that. I passed your test, developer. All right. Smoke fills the city and stings your eyes. The Empire intends to staunch the infection with fire. That's a very good health gain. I've said my piece on gnomes. The company you kept to get you here is strange indeed. Oh no! As you trundle along in your horse-drawn carriage, you catch a glimpse of some cheeky gnomes fleeing with your weapon. You chase them on foot until they dive into a burrow. You take a peek into their hidey hole and discover- Hidey hole? They have quite a cache of weapons in their lair. You reach your arm into the hole. Well, I want my fucking weapon back. Ah! You grab the first thing you lay your finger on. The round, the little round door slams shut as you draw a weapon from their burrow. Matched blades built to enforce justice. Cache. Uh, how the fuck do you say it? Cash or cache? With a snap, you feel something being yanked off your person. You've been ambushed. There's no goblins. Is this a developer card too? God damn it! Cash? Okay. Where's the pronunciation channel on YouTube? I need that. And now the Thieves Guild has arrived. Your artifact is empty now and will be of little use to you here. So, let me get this straight. I use the best weapon I have. I lose it. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't switch to the billy clubs, did I? This is not good. Get the fuck back here. By sea and sun, fate and fame. Okay, no, I'm good. Not even your goblins could stop me. Your goblins. Uh, mercenary garb. How appropriate. Oh yeah, no, I had the billy clubs on. They're not terrible, by any means. I 
I still need 13 citizens. These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. The goblins stole the billy clubs and the game automatically equipped you with another dual wield weapon. I gotcha. The market bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out a passer to passerby to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded street, you pause briefly to, uh, to draw water from the fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic, turning quickly to discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. Okay, huge success. Uh, you grab them. Thief's arm, uh, almost at arm's reach. They knock over a barrel of apples. And now I need... Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Shit. Got it. Fuck yes. A wind Jesus sets the tone for your challenge. The thief struggles to break free. If you let me keep these here items and let me go, of course, I'll let you in on a secret. The thief bargains. Chat? Okay, tell me the secret. You gingerly release the thief. Do not worry about your stuff, the thief says as he dusts himself off. Think of it as an investment. My name is Merrick. Perhaps I could teach you a thing or two. And if you prove, your, and if you prove yourself, he pauses. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meet me at noon in two days at the Market Plaza. We can talk more then. And with that, Merrick disappears back into the crowd. I've been trying to unlock that token for a while. That is very good. Do you wonder what lies beyond the gates of death? This corruption is but a small part of it. Sound. I just lost control of my character for a second. That was not very far. That was not very cool. No, I'll get the cartographer. I don't think the devs put like a lag spell on me. I'm pretty sure it was just some kind of fluke. But we good. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> no, that's good. I'll take it. Excellent. A wise decision. All citizens have been saved. And now the cartographer.
This is kind of like a really cheesy way to <laughs> get a fuckload of food and items. Uh, you guys are on minus 15% health now, though. There we go. Plus 49 gold. Holy shit. A reward well earned. Got it. Nice. Okay. Endless dark deeds have been done in the name of the Empire. May you set that ledger right, at least in part. I'm ready. You usher the frightened citizens through the gate to their escape. My thanks to you, she says with a smile. I doubt we could have done anything more for the people of the old city. Halt! A voice shouts from beyond the gate. You turn to see a troop of Empire soldiers marching through the gatehouse. By decree of the Emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. Captain Fior, you are to return to the Imperial City at once to report, their captain commands. Captain Fuhrer scoffs, calling to the young captain, blocking the gate. These people bear no mark of corruption. All they want is safe passage. Emperor decree or no, it is our duty to protect them. What good is a soldier who cannot follow commands? What is an empire without order? The young captain retorts proudly. By decree of the Emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. Captain Fiora draws her pistol, standing between the cowering old city refugees and the Emperor's decree. I will not stand down. Press Z, follow me. Captain Sterling, he hears the pleas from the old city, but does not weep. Orders are orders. Captains wear armor that dulls standard attacks, use bash to break their armor. I fight for justice, not simply as a sword. This is how it might be, so be it. Fuck off. Hey guys, why doesn't Skyrim have guns? Don't actually answer that. It does, it's called Fallout? Okay. Oh my god! How do you stab someone with spiky clubs? And have it, like, penetrate. Oh, they're spiky. That's why. They're, I mean, like, they're spiky on the top. I guess for me it was more an issue of, like, yeah, you can do it, but how much effort do you need to put into it? To get the clubs into a person's body. But if they got, like, spikes on the top of them, then yeah, that's, that's definitely easier, for sure. For sure. 
these emperor decreed injustices have been the increase been on the increase of late captain fewer says something ill is growing from within she pauses her ruminations and gives you a stern look the empire would do well to have somebody like you serving it There are spikes on the side too. Yeah, that, that was the thing I was differ. wondering about. There is no problem Callus would not have solved through death. Yet you show mercy. Oh, that's a cool looking sword. The mayor of the far water, the soldier. Rescuing all citizens. Rethgar's Quake and Grifter's Companion. Cool. Saving Malkalypse. The Magician. Oh, yes. Look at that. He's got bubbles around him now. This dude's fucking mental. For surviving Horus' suggestion to enter a trapped dungeon. Follow the goblin one drunken night. For accepting the thief Merrick's offer. Pickpocket. Thieves Guild unlocked. For greatly helping the cartographer with his map. Duel. Huh? I can no longer go easy on you. The usurper will not do so, and I must test you sorely before you arrive at his gates. Okay. Alright, um, let's do another one. I think we have time for one more. Hopefully it won't be a tremendously long one, but... We got a lot of new cards. Um, you know, I'm just gonna do the recommend. The goblin can recommend you a deck. Even though I don't totally trust goblins. Okay, so encounters. 12 of 13. I need one more. Uh, duel. Okay, so we got a bunch of these. Arm wrestling is back. Um, I'll get rid of the maiden. I want to get one of these other ones. Follow the goblin, perhaps. We gotta see what the goblin leads to. I've never said the word goblin more in my entire life than tonight. Um, okay, so we've got that. Street Fighter is new. We want to check that out. Um, Fallen Treasure, I think. You know what? I'll get rid of the Burrow one, because that one was stupid. And... Um, We'll get the Alchemist. Okay. Equipment. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine. Uh, let's get rid of regular shield. It's not fine. It didn't give me some of the newer shit that I unlocked. Empire's Burden. Don't know what this is. Um... Grifter's Companion, don't know what that is. What's this thing? Oh, the slow swing. That's gonna be really fucking useful if I can manage to find that. Let's get rid of the Winter's Bane, and we'll replace that with, um... That. And, uh, I could probably get rid of one of the, um... Get rid of the Barbit. It's just a fun word to say, isn't it? Barbit. 
Да, все бабок, сколько. Platinum limit reached. Oh, okay. That's how that works. Bloodletting vial. Or you know what? Let's let's take a look at um Rethgar's Quake. And supplies. We start with leather armor. Um max five life. Do that. We can do healing spirits. That's fine. And I'll, I'll start with the um, brigands blades. I like those. It's even fun to make your deck too. It's Alchemist card said it required a different companion. Fuck. Of your eagerness to leap into difficulties you cannot face. Uh, I didn't see that. Mistakes were made. Yourself. Sharpen your wits and your sword against the challenges ahead. The bitter taste of blood is the first indicator that you're still alive. Blind and disoriented, you make out a voice calling you. A pair of hands shake you upright. Wake up, coin slave. As you open your eyes, you see Malaclips leaning over you, looking the, uh, the worse for wear. What happened? Malaclips gestures, to, uh, gestures you to be quiet. He presses his back up against a boulder beside you and grimaces, holding his side. As your head clears, a booming voice echoes out from deep in the foggy marsh. Oh, where have you crawled, gasted mice? Let your insides be gut and bones be crunched. You peer around the rock, and from the mist steps an ogre, three times as tall as a man, and with a lump and vicious face. His one good eye darts about wildly as he surveys the area, hunting for something. The ogre grunts and scoops up a broken, shining trinket from the ground, splashed red with blood. Ruin with your dirty blood, wretched cut purses, riven in two. His great hideous face turns red. If thou listen here, I will find the twin, and I will eat thine eyes. The ogre lifts his club and smashes a tree trunk in anger. The tree creaks and crashes to the ground as Drachnar the ogre turns and disappears into the mist. Malaclips grimaces as he holds his side, attempting to hide the severity of his injuries. Dude's always fucking injured. Here, you are injured, eat. He throws you a medicinal herb bun. Weak to your bones, you gratefully take a bite. and the bread turns to ash in your mouth. You consume one food. Food does not heal. With a stinking realization, you pull the other half of the ogre's trinket from your pack. Sure enough, you feel a wrongness emanating from it. While holding only half, food does not restore life. Holy shit. A stab of hunger hits your stomach. There is only one thing for it. You must steal back the other half from the ogre that almost killed you. The closest town is Draper. Malaclips whispers hoarsely. We cannot hope to defeat an ogre now. Summoning your remaining strength, you lift yourself to your feet and stagger to town. You must be ready for whatever will come. The usurper will give us no warning. I have 15 health. A slight rustling in the reeds is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. This is pretty fucked, mate. Look at that arm. He often comments that as brushes with death go, his was most convenient. He needed a new spellbook anyway. Malaclips's protective barrier will now explode on impact, damaging enemies around it. Else, 
Yeah, just uh, take care of him, Malaclips. Have, have fun over there. God damn it. The raiders defeated, you search the area for supplies. F food that does not give health. Maleclipse is not, like, incredibly better. Gather yourself I mean, the shield exploding is cool, that. but... Um... It, he doesn't appear to be broken. I admire that you have other skills beyond violence. Yet, if there's one thing that the usurper has taught me, it's that violence can sometimes answer questions that otherwise have none. The sun's warm rays do little to lift your spirits as the mosquitoes and flies torment you. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press on to higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshland. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the road. You check the path to the right. You hear the distant sound of a group of raiders squabbling in the northern tongue. Um. Let's go for the thieves. need that last bit of healing that I have. With the thieves subdued, you notice their stash of treasures hanging precariously from a tree over the bog below. You reach out to cut the rope holding the spoils. Nice. Someone in chat said, I have 30 health sitting in camp. What do you mean by that? I don't get health from food right now. Push forward towards your final confrontation. Okay, never mind then. You could have drank the artifact at camp. Oh, I only had one left. And I just did, so... Welcome back, my friend. The innkeeper greets you warmly. You travel with company, I see. I shall gather extra provisions. Nice.
like goblins. They lead oh, to this... naught but trouble. Were it in my hands, I would never deal with them. You spy a goblin, half hidden in a corpse of a copse of trees, counting the gold weighing down his sack. Startled by your presence, he beats a hasty retreat through the magical portal. You tell Malaclips to stay behind before pursuing the goblin through the portal. Yeah, nob that goblin. It sucks I can't swing the camera all the way around. It's intentional, and again, it's like the combat system, but for, um, going backwards to platform... Oh boy. Okay, we're good. Yeah, for- if you're gonna go backwards for platforming and, like, evading knives, it would have been a, a nice little thing to be able to swing it around. You exit through the glowing door to find yourself in more or less the same place as before. Malaclips waves at you from a few steps away, surprised and bemused. The crunching of leaves underfoot betrays the goblin running further into the forest. <laughs> if you follow him, he may lead you to the goblin treasure hordes of legend. Goblin turns to see you still in pursuit. He shouts in exasperation. Leave me be, meddling human! The mournful blare of his horn echoes through the forest. Another portal yawns before you, the goblin nowhere in sight. Your artifact is empty now and will be of little use to you here. Definitely want to do this with almost no health. Cause, cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. Ugh. Impatience killed the cat, not curiosity. Impatience. Definitely not a goblin treasure hoard, despite there being some treasure. You find yourself face down in a pile of leaves being shaken awaken. Shaken awake. <laughs> yeah, shaken awaken. Anyone need a band name? Shaken awake by Mal Malaclips, slightly dazed, you hear the jangle of coins in the distance. Get 
This son of a bitch, we're still going after the goddamn goblin. You catch up to the goblin just as he leaps into another portal. on the scenery. I kind of like how we haven't even started this mission yet, and it's already... It's just been me going through, like... Caverns. And shitty goblin dungeons with traps. I'm fucking pissed. Because this goblin has been nothing but trouble. Oh, I know, I wouldn't say that! portal deposits you directly in the path of an oblivious Malaclipse bowling him over as you pick yourself up off the ground you spy the elusive goblin escaping over a hill panting the goblin blows his horn producing a weak wheeze curse you leave me be Wearily, he hefts his gold sack into the portal before tumbling after. All around the world, same song. Should not be thinking about that movie as much as I do. I'm not even going to get the other treasures. The bone stripper is in the next level. Cool. Man, God, I wish I could be in the Bone Stripper right now. When you emerge from the portal, you find yourself in a luxurious sitting room. Green lanterns cast uneasy shadows on the walls, lying exhausted on a woven rug in the center of the room is the goblin. He sighs at your appearance. My, you are persistent. I'd offer you some murk tea if you hadn't pursued me relentlessly and barged unwelcome into my home. Where am I? His face cracks into a mischievous grin. You are in Goblin Town, human. Where the sky is made of stone and the roast lizard is the best in the empire. He gestures, gestures at the window and your jaw drops. The sky is indeed made of stone. The city waiting beyond has been carved into a vast cavern. The street below is host to a market lit by uneasy green lanterns. Goblins and hooded... Uh, figures pursue. I was thinking about the Green Lantern Six Flags ride that punches you in the dick when you're done riding it. It's just a good thought. Goblins and hooded, hooded figures pursue, peruse. Goblins and hooded figures peruse the wares, giving wide berth to giant rodent like beasts of burden. You swear you see a lone Empire soldier before she disappears into the crowd. He sighs at your appearance. Demand gold. 
He tips the sack of gold towards you. The goblin's face crinkles sadly. As you grab hold of the sack, he blows his horn, opening a portal at your feet. Next time you want to reach Goblin Town, consider using a more conventional entrance. He gives a half-hearted wave. The goblin sitting room fades from view and you find yourself back in the forest. I think I feel bad for the goblin now. I grabbed his sack and then he blew his horn. Too many words obscure the actual truth of the matter. Sometimes, simple actions tell all. Approaching Draper's gates, you notice a woman of enormous stature dressed in a blue tunic and leather apron. Three smithing hammers hang from her waist. The woman rushes forward and embraces you, burying you in her chest. <laughs> The gods be praised, she cries. I thought you'd surely be dead. She releases you and looks you up and down. Look at you, she says before you can get a word in. That foul beast didn't hold back now, did he? She whips around to face your companion. Bard, she bellows. I told you to keep him out of trouble. You should know better than to steal from an ogre. Malaclips shrugs and winks, then winces from his injuries. She pauses for breath. You seize your chance to interrupt. Who are you? I'm a... Ardini. I'm Ariadne, the blacksmith's daughter, she says surprised. We met at the Black Ale pub the night before you set off to steal a distant charm. I almost broke your wrist. Arm wrestling, remember? As she pauses for breath, you seize your chance to interrupt. Ask about the charm. She pokes at the broken ornament gingerly. Forgive me if I don't take it. The curse of a dish's charm only affects the wielder. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, the ogre is probably starving now too. From the looks of the silver work, this is an old relic indeed. Ask about the ogre. Drachna, she says. Or Drachna the Mighty, as he is known, has lived in these parts for an age. Many have tried to fell the beast before you two misfits. That's for sure, she explains. But few live to tell the tale. The ogre is notorious for ambushing travelers and traders alike. Not even Empire soldiers are safe in these parts. Beautiful plumage. Accumulated a wealth of treasures plucked from his victims, including that cursed relic you've now. As she pauses for breath, you seize your chance to interrupt. Goodbye. Ariadne shakes her head. One blow from Dragnar's club would crush you. You wouldn't survive unless you got a good set of armor on you. Yeah? Listen, I help run a little uh, traveling forge. It's currently headed here. Come see us. We'll sort you out with some good and proper armor. The piece of Odysseus' charm weighs heavy in your pack. You wish to fling it into the mire, but some strange magic stays your hand. Starving and injured, you rest a while in town. I, I can't buy any healing. What is this? Knockdown bomb causes knockdown to a single target damage to an area when activated. It's got five uses. Oh, I don't think I'm going to buy it, but oh, I, I kind of need it, right? It would help. I have no more spirits, and I just got a fuckload of gold. I'm going to get it.
Your day's travel is slow and long, and the sun's rays now gone. A chill fills your, the marshlands. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press onto higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshland. To the left, you make out a group of the Empire's brigands taking shelter by the side of the road. You check the path to the right. You hear the distant sound of a group of raiders. There's less raiders. Brigands. I don't know why I say brigands. I just read it as it's written, but it's brigands. With the raiders defeated, you notice some equipment hidden off the path in the mire. Perhaps they were guarding it. You slide down the bunk to cover it. <sighs> Never mind. Alchemy is one of the pure arts. That says little for its practitioners, however. Countless jars, of, uh, countless jars and obscure artifacts clutter the room. On a central workbench, a peculiar glass beaker simmers over a flame. I see you found my laboratory. I see you found my laboratory. A voice exclaims. From behind a pile of dusty books, a roped figure emerges, clad in a pointy hat and a pair of thick spectacles. He smiles. He has to create. The elusive elixir of life, or perhaps is it gold you desire? All is possible through alchemy. Alas, I have yet to prove that such things are indeed possible, he explains. No matter. Say, would you care to assist me in my experiment? He's just the goblin's friend. They, they sound alike. Let's help him. Very well, let's begin. Take a jar and place this content in the people, he says as he dips his quill in the inkwell and prepares to write. Remember, you must keep the elixir pure. You take a jar from the shelf and unscrew the lid. Blue beetles. The jar contains a collection of blue beetles. You place one in the beaker and it dissolves instantly. The clear liquid gains the faintest tint of blue. Excellent. The alchemist says as he scrawls feverishly in his ledger. Ah, pick a music. Does it all have to- it has to be all blue? jar contains dried blue feathers. You sprinkle a handful into the beaker and they dissolve instantly. The blue elixir intensifies. Remarkable, the alchemist mutters as he continues to write in the ledger. This looks this looking promising. Now pick one more. The 
The mixture changes to a dull purple. That might have been a few too many beetles, perhaps, says the alchemist, looking for a purple mixture. Looking at the purple mixture through his thick spectacles, he frowns. No, 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 this just won't do. The elixir is spoiled. The alchemist turns to his notes and starts scribbling strange symbols on the page. Whatever could be the cause? He continues, yes, definitely too much beetle, so not enough mushrooms. So as the alchemist continues to mutter to himself, you decide to leave him to his work or continue on your journey. I've been ambushed. <laughs> and I have, I have no... I have no health. And I don't have mal clips. Continue to fail me. I have need of your greatest efforts. <sighs> yeah. It's... Yeah. I think it might be too late for me to start this now. Um, yeah, this, this is, challenge is kind of fucked up. I have to, uh, at least you get the best plat car card in the game now. Well, that's good for next time. I did, at least we did the goblin thing. Goblin thing is done. I wonder what would have happened if I made that potion correctly. Um, maybe that would have been enough to save me? Anyway, we'll do this again, like, tomorrow or the day after, because now I'm back into it, and I want to see what happens. But yeah, the difficulty just, like, spiked really fucking high. Okay. Oh, that's Hand of Fate 2. Let's take a look at the art. And this would be good, too, because... Like I said earlier, I'm kind of tired, so this will give me a chance to, um, to sleep, which is a good thing. I like sleep, when, you know, when I can get it. But why don't we first see what people have drawn tonight? 